Good morrow. I'm R. Sikoriak, cartoonist, and I'm speaking to you from my home, uh, and I've dressed up for you uh, to introduce my latest book, Constitution Illustrated. Uh, in my comics, I take popular comic styles and cartoon styles and combine them with well-known texts. My last book was about the president, and I did not want to do that again. So instead, to speak to the contemporary world, I decided to reach back to the Constitution. And in my book, I've illustrated the entirety of the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the amendments, and made it into one comic book of 114 pages. So each page of the book is in a different style. Um, I tried to represent all of American comics in the book in, in one form or another. So in addition to reading the Constitution many, many times, I also got a chance to do a lot of research on a lot of comics. Um, I tried to really represent the melting pot of American comics. So there's characters from as early as 1898 all the way to characters uh, to the present year, 2020. Um, and in order to decide which comic to use on which page, I made a little chart. So each of these little images represents one page from the book. Underneath it is a sentence or two from the Constitution. And then I'm here I've just sort of doodled in a rough idea of what might be illustrated for each page. From there, I went back to my lists of which comics to use, and I started slotting in the styles. Like, oh, this reminds me of Little Orphan Annie. Or, oh, this could be a superhero crashing through a window. Um, and slowly put the pieces together from there. It's like building a crossword puzzle. So I wanted to make sure that the artists who I drew uh, would somehow interpret the text in their own way. Uh, even though I'm one person drawing all these different styles, I wanted the reader to bring their associations to the characters and let that um, affect the way that they read the text of the Constitution. So here we have a page that I've drawn in the style of George Harriman, and it's one of the sections of the Constitution that deals with enslaved persons. Now, um, the relationship of the characters in the strip had some connection, I felt, to the um, text that I was interpreting, so I thought this was a good choice. And you'll see through the book that I do this a lot of different ways. Um, I'm showing you this page without all of the layers turned on because I wanted to show you how I, how I put the page together uh, on the computer. I drew it all uh, in Photoshop. I like to say I draw it by hand because I use a stylus. And um, I'll just sort of show you here that um, I lay in the text, which is a font based on my own handwriting. And then there's different layers for the cross hatching and for the details and for the inking so that the final page looks like this. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the book. Good day.